Good morning, everyone. This morning, I wanted to share with you what is unfortunately looking to be a giant garden fail this season. This season, I lost all of my cucumber plants very early, only getting two or three pickings off of any of my plants before they died of bacterial wilt, which is spread by cucumber beetles. In hopes of getting a later harvest, I planted what was supposed to be a parthenocarpic variety underneath netting with the idea being that parthenocarpic types do not require pollination for fruit set. Therefore, I would not have to take the netting off at any point to allow for insect pollination with hopes that the cucumber beetles would not be able to ever get access to my plants. Well, I wanna show you this morning what has happened with my little experiment. To set this up, I transplanted my plants around the base of just a simple wooden teepee trellis. I placed some heavy duty supports in a roughly square pattern around the outside and then just covered the whole thing with insect netting, pinning it down with fabric pins. Now the first thing you might notice is the obvious lack of cucumbers. I have a lot of blossoms, a lot of teeny tiny little cucumbers, but they are all aborting at a very small size because they did not get pollinated. Which leads me to my first important point that I wanna share with you. Always buy from a trusted, reputable seed source. So I'm not going to name any names, but I got this seed from a place that I normally don't. It was labeled as Arkansas Little Leaf, which is supposed to be a true parthenocarpic variety with a very wide range of disease resistances. And based on my results here, the seed was not true to type. It may have been a seller mix up, or it may just be that they're not maintaining their stock seed well. But this is obviously not a truly parthenocarpic type, whatever this is that I ended up with, because this would not be aborting the small fruit if it were. I should have a full fruit set under this netting without pollination. The second major screw up that I committed here was not following my cardinal rule of giving plants adequate air circulation. In this very small space, I had three cucumbers planted. That was way too many. I should have just had one. The plant crowding in combination with being under the netting really cut down on any kind of air circulation. My summers here are very humid, so we tend toward a lot of fungal and bacterial foliar diseases. And you can see that these plants are not healthy. I have a lot of foliar disease going on here. Based on the appearance of this foliage, I've likely got a strain of cucumber downy mildew. Interestingly, the variety that this is supposed to be, Arkansas Little Leaf, is supposed to be resistant to downy mildew. Now, even resistant varieties can succumb to a disease if the pressure is enough. But the fact that this came down with the disease it's supposed to be resistant to, combined with the lack of fruit set, definitely leads me to believe there was some kind of seed mix up. So valuable lessons going forward into next year. I, I will get my seed from a reputable seed source, get a true parthenocarpic variety, and I will only plant one plant in this amount of space. I'm hoping that not all is lost for the remainder of the season. I'm going to keep the netting off in hopes that some of these blooms that are appearing will get pollinated by the bees and other pollinators. And I may end up with a small amount of fruit set and to deter the cucumber beetles from feeding off of these plants now that they're exposed, I'm going to do a regular spray with a kale and clay product. I'm going to use surround. Basically, this is just a fine powdered kale and clay that you mix with water and you coat the whole plant. The idea being that insect pests don't like to walk on or chew through that clay coating, but it in no way harms the plants and it doesn't actually hurt any insects. The only trouble that I find with surround is that it does have to be reapplied frequently. So if you get rain, if you get very heavy dew in the morning, it will wash right off of the plants. And I'd love to hear from you. If you have any tricks for fooling the cucumber beetles, keeping them off of your cucumber plants. I would love to hear what has worked for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.